When we think about things in space, we never really consider that something alien might come crashing toward the Earth. The chance of getting hit by a piece of space junk is highly likely compared to the aliens looking for a place to crash. Because the number of satellites, rockets, and probes penetrating space has been increasing over the past few years and will continue to develop in the future, the risk of this being a real threat to human life and safety is very real. What is space junk? There has always been debris from space falling to Earth. Even before humans began to send up spacecrafts of our own, tiny particles from asteroids and comets made it through the Earth's atmosphere. They would come down in the form of around 40,000 metric tons of dust annually. Sometimes when a larger particle makes it through the atmosphere, it arrives as a meteorite crashing to Earth, creating craters and damaging land and property. There is a common belief that once in a few millennia, a huge kilometer-sized object makes it through. When such meteors crash on the Earth, they cause large-scale widespread damage and even species extinction, as theorized in the case of the dinosaurs. These examples are all cases of natural space debris entering the Earth's atmosphere. This had happened before the spread and advancement of humanity and would have continued to happen even without us. However, man's ability to send objects into space has given us the power to create artificial debris. So there is a good chance that this junk can fall into Earth's atmosphere and come crashing down onto the planet. Space junk is mainly made up of the discarded portions of rockets from launches, satellites that are no longer operational, and extra waste generated from exploding batteries or excess fuel. The studies looked at the chances of such space junk causing a threat to human health and safety, mainly considering the risk posed by the defunct satellites that remained in orbit even after they had stopped working. Why is it now more of a threat? The increased number of parties entering the rocket launching business and a shift within the industry from the government to private enterprises have put more players in this field. Because of that, many more artificial pieces of technology are entering space. This increase in the number of artificial bodies entering space is now leading to an increased risk of harm being caused to humans due to the space junk falling back to Earth. Up to this point, while there have been cases where already launched rockets and satellites, or at least parts of them have come crashing back to Earth, no one has ever been killed by one of these pieces of space junk. While they have caused damage to land and property, the only recorded instance of them causing injury to a living person was in 1997, when Lottie Williams was hit by a piece of a Delta II rocket while walking in a park in Tulsa, Oklahoma. However, a new study published in the Nature Astronomy Journal has attempted to estimate the chances of people being killed by falling space junk in the next 10 years. What did they find? The researchers who conducted the study and wrote the published paper found at least 10% chance of one or more deaths being caused by falling debris of space junk over the next decade. They got this number by analyzing the paths that the rockets and satellites fly in space and the areas on Earth below these flight paths and how high the human population is in these areas. Also, they looked at the history of the last 30 years available on spacecraft while also adding the data of the increase in rockets and satellites that will be launched in the next 10 years to their analysis. Their study of all this data estimated the chances of one or more individuals being casualties of falling space junk. However, they also warn that this estimate of 10% is likely lower than what it will be in reality because they could not predict the increase in rockets and satellites that will be introduced into space in the next decade. If it is higher than the figures used for their analysis, the chances of someone being killed will also increase. The researchers also found that the chances of space junk falling on specific areas of the planet were also much higher than in other regions due to the flight paths of most of these rockets and satellites. They found that the falling debris is more likely to land in these southern latitudes than in the northern ones. They found that the risks were highest in the countries of Nigeria, Indonesia, and Mexico, which incidentally are all developing countries with high population densities, which could lead to more serious damages if these areas were hit. How can it be prevented? Despite space officials from NASA and other international space bodies reassuring people that falling space junk does not really pose a threat to the safety of humans, due to most of it burning up in the Earth's atmosphere when it re-enters, there still remains a threat. Additionally, especially with parts from rockets and satellites, the agencies and government bodies sending these into space can allow for controlled descent of the waste parts of these spacecraft. 
The technology already exists, allowing these pieces of space junk to fall back to Earth in a steady, safe, and monitored manner, rather than simply free-falling. However, the technology to make this happen would cost these agencies and government bodies much more, which is why they choose to not employ them in the hopes of saving money. Therefore, while space junk falling back to Earth may not pose an immediate threat to you at this moment, the chances of it becoming a threat to human health and safety across the planet in the future are a very real possibility. It is up to the private companies and government bodies that send these spacecrafts into space to take the proper safety measures to ensure that they do not cause human casualties in the future. Suppose these precautions are not taken soon, decades from now, we may not be able to leave our homes without looking to the skies hoping that space does not kill us. So what do you think of this matter? Do you think the chance of falling space junk becoming a real threat to humans? How would you even deal with it? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more content.